What's up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but we focus on the solution. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Sinclair Method, which is a method some people use to get sober from addiction, and I'm going to discuss what this method is. Does it work, is it safe, is it not? But it's definitely something you're not gonna to wanna to miss, so stay tuned. Thanks to the Sinclair Method, I was able to control, alt, delete my addiction to alcohol. I am no longer powerless. The monster is no longer in control. So this clip that you just saw is a woman named Claudia Christian. She is an actress. She struggled with alcoholism for a very long time. The clip was taken from a TED Talk that she did, and I'll put a link in the description down below so you can watch the whole entire thing yourself. So the first question we have to ask is, what is the Sinclair Method? Does it work? Does it cure people of alcoholism? The Sinclair Method, is something that I've had clients ask me about in rehab and I wasn't sure what it was. I was like, what's the Sinclair method? I heard a couple things about it, but not much. Um, it turns out that I actually knew what it was. I just didn't know how to name for it. And it is completely insane. It is totally crazy. Basically what it is, is it's with the medication called naltrexone. So what you do is, is you take naltrexone, which is a little pill, and you take it about an hour or so before you drink alcohol. And what it's supposed to do is after you have like a glass of wine or a drink, your cravings subside. So you don't want more. If you're an alcoholic, you know what happens. We suffer from a physical craving. So once we have one, we just want more. We can't stop ourselves. Those of us who have tried to moderate, it never works. This medication supposedly does that. When this medication came out, I believe in 1994, it was launched as the cure for addiction, the cure for alcoholism. The way this medication acts is that it's an opioid blocker. So what it does is it blocks receptors in your brain so we don't get the excess flood of dopamine. If you watch my other video, and I'll put a link in it up here, um, I talk about how us addicts have a problem with dopamine regulations. It floods our brain and we want more and more and more due to the way our prefrontal cortex does not regulate this flow. So what this pill is supposed to do is it's supposed to block that so you don't get that excess flood. You're supposed to be able to safely drink. The first thing that I want to tell you is naltrexone saved my life, okay? When I was in early recovery, I started having these insane cravings. I was shaking, I was freaking out. I was about to go relapse and it was gonna be all bad. But my mom, who works at an outpatient center, recommended naltrexone. I took this medication and my cravings just went away. Um, I am an alcoholic who also was a big time opioid addict. I did prescription painkillers and this medication greatly got rid of my cravings. Now, it got rid of my cravings to the point where I could be abstinent. The Sinclair method is promoting harm reduction. Harm reduction, in my opinion, when it comes to alcoholism, any form of addiction is one of the most dangerous things out there. And that's why this video makes me furious. So, as you saw from the clip, she's talking about how her alcoholism is cured. Now, as you watch the video, if you wanna check it out, I suggest that you do so, but I, I urge you to watch it with caution because this is extremely dangerous. This is a woman who was able to take this medication and was able to control her drinking, okay? This is very dangerous. If you're watching this and you're an addict or alcoholic in recovery, you might be thinking, Chris, I was on naltrexone and I kept drinking and using while I was on it and it didn't help me at all. So just keep that in mind. Don't take this video as something that you should go out and try. Abstinence is the only thing that I talk about because it's the only thing that's proven to work. In her video, she tries to justify this method because us addicts and alcoholics, we don't wanna feel different. We wanna be able to go drink with our friends and stuff like that. The reality is, is that we, as a society, always feel that we need something to feel a certain way. She talks about not being able to go out with friends, family members, and have a drink. I'm telling you this right now. With five years clean and sober from drugs and alcohol, I'm able to go wherever the hell I want, and I have a great time doing this. The idea that we need to be able to drink to loosen up, or have a good time, or relax after a long day, is completely crazy. 
Me, personally, you know what I do to relax? I meditate. I hang out with my son. I play some video games. I write. I make videos like this. You don't need a substance to make you feel better or to fit in at any kind of social gathering that you're going to. So the way that she's pushing that is completely, completely irrational. So anyways, naltrexone did help me. But let me give you a little history about this medication. It came out as this cure for addiction and alcoholism. Now, the original study that I saw said that this has a 90% success rate. Now, I'm going to ask you to keep up with me and do the math. In this video, she actually says that the success rate is closer to about 78%. My math goes a lot better when I thought it was 90%, but now that it's actually lower, it's crazy. So, on average, one out of every 12 people are true addicts and true alcoholics. So, when you look at the statistics and the fact that it only helps 78% of people, who do you think fall into that other 22%? The real addicts and alcoholics. Damn! People like me, the real thing, we will take that medication, and if we take that one drink, we're going to keep doing it, regardless of whether or not we're getting that dopamine flood or not. Think about this. Most addicts and alcoholics continue drinking and using long after the brain quits creating as much dopamine and we're not even getting drunk or high anymore. Me, personally, towards the end of my addiction, I was drinking an entire bottle of rum and not even getting drunk. I would just keep doing it and keep doing it. So when I, the idea that this pill is magically going to change that is completely insane. Now, she talks about these different treatment methods and types and meetings and stuff like that. And that's one of the other things that drives me just absolutely nuts is because you can really tell how biased this point of view is. She talks about, when she talks about talk therapy or equine therapy or 12 step meetings, she does it with like a laugh and an eye roll. Like what she's doing is she's leading the crowd to agree with her that these methods are ridiculous so she can gear them towards her point which is extremely biased and I hate, I hate when people do that. The reality is, is that many of these methods do work when people actually participate in their own recovery. Many of these methods are evidence-based. Evidence-based treatment is scientifically proven. I can tell you this right now. The Sinclair method is not scientifically proven. Now, Trexone, the medication for getting rid of cravings, is scientifically proven, but the Sinclair method is not. I hope you're following me very carefully when I say that. The medication works, but the method does not. It only works for about 78% of people. When I was actually getting ready to make a video tonight, I was going to do it on the 12 step recovery success rates. And when I saw this, I was like, no, I need to do a video on this, but I will make a video about 12 step recovery success rates and the real statistics behind it because when these people are pushing the agenda of the pharmaceutical companies all we're doing is masking the real actual problem the problem is is that most of us do not know how to deal with life and a pill is not going to solve that treatment methods therapeutic methods 12-step programs all these different things help you deal with that void that you have to actually solve the problems that make you want to drink in the first place or make you want to get high in the first place so if you're watching this and you're in recovery from addiction i highly recommend that you try naltrexone or the shop version which is called vivitrol it gets rid of the cravings for a lot of people it did for me some people have adverse reactions but i strongly urge you not to try to use it to moderate your drinking or using because most people fail most people do because they are the real addict and alcoholic so if you've tried the Sinclair method or if you've been on Naltrexone, I want to hear from you. Leave comments down below. If you like this video and want me to talk about more methods, different ways to get sober, give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments in there. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel where it's all about discussing mental health, talking about recovery from addiction, and anything to do about getting this thing straight. So this is Chris signing out from The Rewired Soul, and I will see you next time.